After weeks of relentless protests led by students, lawyers and teachers, Abdelaziz Bouteflika now faces another wave of opposition, this time from within his own ranks. Algeria's chief of staff is the latest to rebel against the 82-year-old president. His call for Bouteflika to be declared unfit marks a major step towards a political transition in the country. It's also symbolic. The army has played a pivotal role in Algerian politics since independence from France in 1962. And Lieutenant General Ahmed Gait Salah was seen until now as fiercely loyal to the president. Support for Bouteflika has been crumbling in recent weeks. One by one, members of the ruling elite have distanced themselves from the leader, who's ruled the country for 20 years, but has rarely been seen in public since suffering a stroke in 2013. Last week, his own party, the National Liberation Front, known by its French acronym FLN, appeared to side with the protesters. In a statement, party leader Mouad Bouchareb called for negotiations to ensure the stability of the country. FLN fully supports the popular protest movement. We need to work on maintaining a unified dialogue in Algeria. A message echoed by Ahmed Ouyahia, a former prime minister and the leader of the influential RND party, who said last week that the people's demands should be met as soon as possible. Unions and business leaders, meanwhile, have also turned against the president. All agree that Bouteflika should go, but it's not yet clear who will replace him. Well, let's talk now.